Chapter sixty one of Women of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Women of History by Anonymous. Chapter sixty one. Elizabeth Halkett, sixteen seventy seven. Connolly. Born in sixteen seventy seven, the authoress of the celebrated ballad of Hardy Canute was the second daughter of Sir Charles Halkett of Pitfurron. At the age of nineteen she married Sir Henry Wardlaw of Petria V in Fife, to whom she bore four daughters and a son. She at first attempted to pass off the ballad of Hardy Knut as a genuine fragment of an ancient poem, and caused her brother-in-law, Sir John Bruce of Kinross, to communicate the manuscript to Lord Binning, himself a poet, as a copy of a manuscript found in an old vault of Dunfermline. The poem of Hardy Knut was first published in 1719, and it was afterwards admitted by Ramsay into the Evergreen, and for many years was received as an old ballad, a circumstance which has been founded on by some modern writers as sufficient to invalidate the claims of many of our old ballads to an origin beyond that of the date of lady halkett's successful literary fraud nay several of these have been ascribed to this lady chiefly upon the internal evidence of identical words but it seems to have been overlooked by these inquirers that lady halkett could naturally imitate the old ballads and no doubt she did so that the supposed proof may be successfully turned against the new theory the real authorship of hardy canute was first disclosed by bishop percy in his reliquies published in seventeen fifty five and has since been established beyond a doubt but there is no evidence beyond what has been mentioned that she wrote sir patrick spens or any other of our so-called old scotch ballads End of chapter sixty one recording by linda fredericks modesto california august two thousand twelve